First tee at Royal County Down. We're going to do a three ball better ball. Um, amazing news that the sun's out, but it is blowing a gale, so this should be very interesting. It's going to be interesting. Um, it's going to be interesting. Chris, you confident? First tee nerves are settling in. First tee nerves settling in. Well, wish us luck anyway, but score predictions in the comments down below. We're off. Not the friendliest of tee shots from the three of us. Not that we're doing very good on the social goal side of things. I've gone left, down nine, which is fine, we're not on the beach. Jack's a bit right, but I think he's just inbound. And 40 has smoked a four iron down the middle. So yeah, hopefully we can get down there and try and make birdie on the par five first. It's always a struggle when you've got an actual fade with a left to right wind, you're destined for trouble. Um, so lost ball for me, which is good. Lovely strike. We, this is par five, par four? It's poor from me. Par five. Uh, we've got a par birdie, which is good news. Um, but you'll notice today that we're not going to be playing shots from the fairway. Um, and then not, that's not because we've hit offline, which most likely is the case in this wind, but they're just trying to protect the course for the winter months. So we're going to respect that. We'll be playing out the rough, but I'm sure it won't affect the uh, overall experience. But, get one of these birdie parts. Schoolboy error. We're out here on our own. Um, normally you have to have a four caddy, is that right, Chris? With yeah, every tee four caddy. And um, I've played it before, but I can't remember it. And there's a lot of blind tee shots and we haven't got a, a stroke saver. So our videographer, our main man, Gilly, he's, uh, if you can see him, right up there. There he is. <laughs> he's trying to show us where the fairway is. So. Somewhere that way. Okay. Yeah, just what you need. It's blowing a gale, no stroke saver, but we'll give it a go. So on the second green at the moment, a uh, bit of a score update. We parred the first, um, made a good five up there after hitting it left off the tee. 40 has got about 15 feet for birdie on two. He's just hit it. Looks good, looks good. Just missed. So par on two as well. Level par through two holes. Right, so another par at the third, which despite the very, very strong wind, Actually doing all right. Three pars to start, level par. Um, now, Fordy has been telling us this whole trip that the fourth hole at Royal Counter Down, the little par three, is one of the best holes in golf. So we thought we'd get an initial reaction cam from myself being the golf purist and the golf nerd. So let's have a look. Oh wow, this looks incredible. Tiny par three, straight back up to the mountains in the sunshine. Look at this. So we are playing a little bit further forward today because obviously it's winter and I'm protecting the course, but I mean, in July, come the Irish Open, this is gonna be some gonna golf hole. Probably one of the best par threes I think I've ever played, which is it's just unreal. But quick update, we got uh, 40, here for one, um, part for two, I'm here for two, and then we've got Chris over there in the bunker who's there for two. So, um, fine to get par here. Standing on the fifth tee, um, as I said, we're kind of playing a bit forward today because we're protecting the tips because it is winter, but normally you're kind of up there and this this whole plays almost, it's left, dog left to right, but you kind of aim it over this course. Um, straight into the mountain. So today we're kind of hitting it straight up. But we're level par. I think that's pretty good in these in these wind conditions. Take that, that is is good going. So we can keep this momentum going. If we shoot level today, I'll, I'll be very happy. That's very good. What did you originally say we were going to shoot? I said six under in the car yesterday. Maybe a bit optimistic, but yeah. if we shoot six under, I'm jumping in the sea. <laughs> We've got it on camera. Yeah, that's fine, mate. Yeah, ideal. This is the fifth green. I'm just standing on the right-hand side of it. Flags on the right-hand side. And if I pan round, I don't know 
don't think you can see that. But 40 is about 60 yards left. That is how windy it is. So yeah, tough. One over. First bit of damage on the scorecard. It's fine though, we'll get it back. Oh, he could have played one. Stay there, wind's got it. Stay. Just, just long, mate. How are you trying to play that one? Talk to me. Just trying to play a little chippy pitch and wedge. Keep it low under the wind, but just flew out the rough a little bit. Hey! Back to level. That's the first buddy of the day. Score update. Unfortunately, a bogey. Back to one over. But yeah. plenty of holes to go. Plenty of golf to be played. And the next one is quite special. Ninth RCD. Let's do it. I've seen a few, few pictures, few videos of it. It's um, it's a special one on the ninth tee. Very, very famous golf hole. Blind tee shot over a massive dune. And then obviously you work your way back to the clubhouse. Um, but a very, very common theme around here are the blind tee shots. There's quite a few of them. Um, it does make having a four caddy super, super worthwhile. I know you have to have one anyway, but their value is is unimaginable really. Uh, and they add so much to, to enjoyment around a golf. Um, one thing I will say about this golf course though is it is brutal. If you miss the green slightly, miss it in the wrong area, you are down a little valley, the greens are upturned, you're trying to chip or put up a massive slope, downwind, into wind, like it is hard. You have to be on your game, um, but so much fun. So, so, so much fun. Look at it. Loving the squeak. Yeah, the Steven Gerrard bag. <laughs> Oh wow, that is money. What a view that is. As dramatic holes go, that's, that's one of the best. You can see why they photograph this hole so much. Like That view is incredible. The mountains in the background, sun setting. It's atmospheric. Beautiful. Pretty special. Here's the main man, the man of the hour. Clap him in. Clap him in. Clap him in. Our four caddy for the day, Jack Gilly. Send him in the fairway. You know it. Where do I end up? Oh, look at that. Jeez. Second shot's a bit difficult with that crosswind, but so we've got this for par, trying to save the score. Is that two over now? Yeah. Two over, two over through nine. Isn't too bad, no. it's in the wind. It's been hard, hasn't it? Um, tenth hole, beautiful looking par three. And we just walked off, had a bit of a pep talk. Right? If we shoot level today, two on the back nine. We'll, we'll be very happy with Absolutely that. buzzing. We'd have earned the spa. Two on the back nine? Two on there, yeah. Happy with that, to be honest, but. Two on the back nine. Yeah, if yeah we, that'd yeah. be nice. Yeah. Oh, it just le went left, didn't it? Another par. Quick score update. Um, we bogeyed 11, par 12. We've all hit pretty good drives down 13. It's a little dog leg par four to the right hand side. Got about 130 yards, 40? 150, sorry. My eyesight is terrible. Um, but got 150 in, the sun is setting. And I mean, this is just millionaires golf right now. At Royal County down. Have a look at that. Look at that for an approach shot. Love that. So Such a good golf shot. Oh, what? This is the third time I've played here. And I've played it sort of once in almost unplayable conditions, once on weirdly the hottest day of the year. Um, and it's the kind of golf course that the more I've played it, the more I love it. Um, maybe that's going to play quite well today. But um, yeah, 13th hole, just typical kind of raw county down hole, like dramatic. Um, par four, dog leg left to right. The tee shot is really important. You know, positioning, you want to be down the left to give yourself a good line in. 
and then just an amazing second shot kind of all the gorse at the back of the green and it's all in bloom at the moment actually but just yeah that's kind of the best word really dramatic and you know you have to hit good golf shots here i mean we've got it on a windy day you have to control your ball flight but just an experience with your friends it's uh you know i don't need to tell you it's just one of those ones you need to tick off but uh yeah it's a really special place 15th hole hard 14 good little par three into the corner jack's got about five foot for par we need it Oh. In the side door. <laughs> we'll take we'll it. Take we'll that take it. We'll take it. on the scorecard. Again. So we've just come off the 16th green now, onto the 17th tee. Um, and we're three over with two holes to play, so we need birdie, eagle, finish. Um, you reckon we got that in our locker? Oh yeah. Got that in our locker? God yeah. 100%. Par five to finish, so drive for par four now. Yeah. Downwind, birdie eagle chances. Here we go, stay tuned. Just looked at the scorecard, uh, it's not drivable. So, um, yeah, we'll give it a best let's shot. Let's just get it in play. Let's just get it in play. You Seven. didn't deserve that after that tee shot. I thought it had a good one up here. So we're in the middle of the fairway on 17, and there is what used to be a pond, they've now filled in to massive bunker. And uh, yeah, check that lie out. This is, um, this is not gonna be fun. Only 100 yards to go. I'll be happy if I just get it out, to be honest. Right, let's see. World's hardest golf shot. Well out. Same for this man, just hit his tee shot, just past Chris. Second shot in. I don't want to hear that. Oh, worldy. Worldy. Jeez. <laughs> putting for free, my man. Boys are behind me just putting on 17. I'm just walking up to the 18th tee now. You haven't seen much of me on here. I've been off every other hole, just getting shots. And this is the view. Absolutely stunning. Arguably the best course I've ever been. It just makes my life a hell of a lot easier when it looks like this. Let's get down 18. 18, par five, we are still three over. A couple of errors on the front nine, back end of the front nine. And um, we just haven't held a putt since really. But Eagle would be, be nice to finish. Be nice to be or even just a birdie and just, I mean, that view with the sun setting is special. <laughs> oh, that is so perfect. Shot, Jack. Wow, what a day. It's been awesome. This place is, it's like a otherworldly experience. It's, um, the sun's just dipped below the clouds. Um, walking up to the 18th green, got the clubhouse in the background. Uh, with the mountains, it's just, it's just epic. And uh, don't get me wrong, this course is, it's not the easiest, but um, I mean, I mean, it's beat me up a tiny bit today. I haven't really played the best, but you can't let that, you can't let that put you off. You can't really think about the numbers on the scorecard or how, how you've played. It's, um, it's just, it's just one of the best experiences you can you can play in golf. So we're very lucky to be here. And if I've got the chance to come back, I'm taking it. Lucky mate, always mate. Great fun. Awesome day. Awesome day. Cheers mate. Cheers morning, well played mate. So just finished 18 holes at Royal County Down. And what an experience. Playing a golf course like that with your friends into the sunset is um, a special experience, but I think we're gonna go warm up, um, probably go use the spa, grab some dinner, talk about talk about the round as you normally do on a trip like this, where you just sit in the bar, pint of Guinness, chat about the round, the good shots and the bad shots. But yeah, what what a day.
Cheers, boys. Cheers, cheers. Cheers, mate.